These are mint fried ribs, a much beloved dish from the Yunnan province that goes phenomenally alongside a bit of baijiu or your poison of choice. You make them by deep frying a bunch of mint and then also deep frying some marinated ribs and then finishing it all by frying it all with some chilies and aromatics. It's a technique called sheng jia or raw deep fried, though not really totally sure why it's named that, and most classically is applied to a dish called sheng jia chicken, though these days these ribs might just be even more common. But before we get into this all, I do think that we should probably right size a couple of expectations. Because while these are mint fried ribs, after deep frying, this mint is not going to be all that minty. It's going to be a lot more subtle, hitting a place that's a little more reminiscent of something kind of like tea leaves. Interestingly, it's an approach that you can see a bit around Southeast Asia as well, often with Thai basil or makrut leaves. So while its appearance in Yunnan isn't totally crazy, given the province's geography and ethnic makeup, this dish is the only one in Yunnan, or I guess China by extension, that we can think of that applies this technique. So to make it, we'll first need to marinate a half a kilo of ribs. These were cross-cut spare ribs, but totally use your favorite rib and cut it down to about a size of inch, inch and a half. But for its marinade, we will need to first whip up a bit of ginger scallion water before anything. To do so, super simple, just smash up an inch or so of ginger together with slicing and crushing about two scallions. Give those a quick rub, then toss in a cup and soak those with some hot boiled water from the kettle. Cover, and then once that's all naturally cooled down, or about 40 minutes later, strain, squeeze out the aromatics, and then this will be good for our ribs. So, pretty straightforward. Two said ribs, just toss in three quarters of a teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon sugar, one teaspoon of a red fragrant chili powder, quarter teaspoon white pepper, uh, another quarter teaspoon chicken bouillon powder, or MSG, and give that all a real good mix. Then we'll add in the ginger scallion water bit by bit. We're gonna be looking for a quantity that the ribs will be able to absorb stopping right past the point that they're completely saturated. You'll know that by taking your time, stirring constantly as you do so for about a minute or two. For our ribs today, that quantity ended up being about six and a half tablespoons worth. Then sprinkle in a half teaspoon of baijiu liquor, or alternatively, shaoxing wine, one teaspoon of soy sauce, and a half tablespoon of oyster sauce. Mix well again, then go in with three tablespoons of cornstarch, Mix that well to coat, and then these are ready to fry. So, in a wok with a healthy glug of oil, first get that up to about 150 Celsius, and then toss in about 15 sprigs worth of picked, well-drained mint at first. It's going to bubble up in an incredibly satisfying way. Just let that fry up for about 30 seconds to begin to crisp up, then remove, drain well, and toss it all on a serving plate reserving a touch of it for later. Then, same wok, same oil, same 150C. Toss in the ribs and lower your flame to about medium, medium high. This will lower the temperature, which is what we want, as we'll be looking to fry these at around 120. Once the coating's set, give it a quick stir, and then fry those for about six minutes. Then just remove, let those drain again, and get the oil back up to about 150C. Then at this point, we'll go in with two cloves of garlic cut into slices, together about four to five dried chilies cut into sections. Quick stir, go back in with your ribs. Let those fry together for about 30 seconds, then remove and drain. Once it's no longer quite so oily, onto that, toss that extra mint from before. Give it all a good toss and jiggle, and then lay it over your bed of mint. And then, just like that, your Yunnan mint fried ribs are good to devour. So, how to eat this dish? Well, besides munching on the ribs, uh, one thing to remember is that you can also munch on the mint because it's not so much a flavoring agent, but rather something crispy to eat alongside with your ribs. And of course, you can also eat the crispy chilies and the garlics in the dish. 
So right, as always, recipes in the description box. A big thank you for everyone that's supporting us on Patreon, and of course, subscribe for more Chinese cooking videos. <laughs>